Hey YouTube, what's up? General Tony here, coming back with pretty much the first ever series that I've ever had on this channel. And it's going to be a road to max. Now, I want to reach Town Hall 10 as soon as possible. Obviously, I'm Town Hall 9 now. I'm doing quite well, I think. I've had this game since October 1st, 2014, so we're going into about the 14th or 15th week now. And I would say I've done pretty well. I've pretty much, I'm, I would say I'm about halfway through Town Hall 9. Maybe not halfway, I'm not too sure actually. I've got the Expos down, the Wizard Towers are up, all that sort of stuff. The Teslas are causing a problem, I'm not going to lie, they're only level 4, but I'll get them done next, I think. So as I was saying, this is going to be the first series that I've ever really incorporated into my channel, and it is going to be a Road to Max. Now, I have been using gems, but I haven't been using gems like you see on other channels, like gemming to max or stuff like that. I use gems to uh, kind of help me get loot as fast as possible. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I've managed to acquire this base in the short amount of time that I have, while spending hardly any money. Now, the things I've used gems on are pretty much just the barracks, maybe using some, uh, some troops sometimes as well for a couple of videos. I've used some in clan wars as well to build troops for people. And I have occasionally rushed maybe the uh, Barbarian King or Archer Queen, but I haven't done it to like a large extent like other channels which do gemming to max videos. So as you can see from, from this base itself, I've been Town Hall 9, for, this is in the fourth week now, just entered the fourth week. So I've got the Expos down, the Wizard Towers are pretty much done, one of the Mortars is down, I've got the uh, Archer Towers, Mortars... The air defense, the Teslas, of course, and the cannons to do, as long, along with the walls. So I think I'll, I'm hoping to have completed Town Hall 9 by the end of March. That gives me about five weeks to complete it. I think I'm going to be able to do it. So taking that into consideration, what I'm going to show you in this video today is how I've been raiding and how I've built up this base in the time that I have. In five months, not even five months, less than five months, I've managed to acquire a Town Hall 9 base, which takes some people maybe a year. And to be honest, I've probably played the same amount as most people. I haven't sat on this for 10 hours a day playing it. If you go ahead and look here, okay, so I've got these barracks boosted, these four barracks. And if you look into my most recent raids, into the attack log, you can see in the last hour, so that, that one there was one hour and two minutes ago, and that one there was 11 minutes. So in the last 50 minutes, look how much Dark Elixir I've managed to farm. There's 2k there. There's another K there, another K there, another 1.2K there, another K there. That's about six or 7,000 Dark Elixir farmed in 50 minutes, which is extremely fast. I'm currently sitting in Gold League, and I would say that early mornings are the best time to raid, depending on where you are around the world, for the simple fact that most people are asleep. If you're from the UK, definitely raid in the morning, because you're going to get every, every American's going to be asleep, and you're going to be able to literally just raid their bases for all their little collectors around the outside of the base. So the army I've been using is the simple standard barch, barbarians, archers, nothing else, nothing less. And we've got, of course, the king and the queen coming along when they're ready. So we're going to go ahead and find the raid. And I'm going to show you pretty much the loot that's available. This is uh, it's about 12, 12 midday here now. But of course, America, most of America is still asleep. So I think it's like 4 a.m. in the morning there, 5 a.m., something like that. So we're going to go ahead and find a raid. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to find loot this early in the morning, which is going to help you max your town hall as quick as possible. So this is one of the, this is literally the second base we landed on. And you can see here there's 300k uh, elixir available. Obviously nothing's really in the collectors, but I mean the base itself is rather weak. And I could easily three star this base, I think. Maybe not three star, but I'm pretty sure I could collect most of the loot. So we're just going to do the standard barbarians, followed by the archers. We've got the archer queen there as well. I'm going to leave that storage at the top for now, just to make sure I can clench these two down here at the south. It should be pretty easy. I've still got about 100 archers left, so it shouldn't be too hard. We're going to leave the rest of the troops now in case we want to attack the top. I think we've got the bottom pretty much down now. Just that wizard tower in the way. There we go. He's down out of the way. That one's been collected pretty quick now. So that uh, elixir storage should go down now. That one's been collected now. Send a few more in there. And now we've got uh, 60 archers left plus the queen to attack the top. So we should be able to do this pretty easily. And this is going to be almost 300,000 elixir. So it's so simple, guys. Everyone, you see a lot of people using like wall breakers, giants, healers. You don't really need to use those troops unless you're in higher leagues, guys. I wouldn't suggest using them. It's just going to cost you and take you a lot longer to max your base. Rather, than, I know it's more fun using those troops, but... Using these sorts of troops is going to be so much faster if you're trying to max your base as soon as possible. Hopefully this Archer Queen turns into the base. There we go. She should be able to take those two storages there now. The Archer Tower is there, which is going to do some damage to her. I know he is. Uh, the Archer Tower is. 
Hopefully it doesn't get in range as soon as she steps inside of the base. Oh, uh, yeah, it is. All right, so she's going to take out that. We're going to just use her special cloak ability to cause a distraction. Hopefully take that down as quick as possible. No, come on, go for the elixir storage. Go for the elixir. There we go. She's finally shooting it, but she is going down fast. Come on, get half of it. Get half, get half. There we go, guys. So we managed to clench. How much did we get? 240,000 elixir, which isn't bad. So going on to my upgrades, I'm currently uh, upgrading minions inside of the research center. I've got this archer tower, which was given to me at Town Hall 9. That's going to level 8. All the other archer towers are currently level 10 and will be going to level 11 this week. I'm pretty sure I'm going to do the archer towers and the Teslas next. This Tesla is going to level 3 inside of a day. This air defense to level 4 inside of 2 days. And I believe the last army camp is going to level 7 as well. So they're my current upgrades. Now I'm going to go ahead and build another Barch army and I'm going to show you some of the dark elixir that's available in gold 3 this early in the morning. Alright guys, so we've landed on this. This was base number 3 and as you can see the base is quite simple. It's got 1159 dark elixir available. I mean I'm finding these bases literally in every 2 or 3 bases that I'm skipping past right now early morning hours inside of gold 3. Kind of gold 3, gold 2, depending where you go. As soon as you go into the silver 1 league, you start to find that the dark elixir tends to fade. And when you go up to gold 1, you'll find that there's not as much of it inside of the uh, collectors. And the storage are more centralized, so it's a lot harder to get to it. So we've got the 4 wall breakers, we've got the barbarian king. Just going to send in a couple of barbarians of distraction and some archers. Wait for that mortal to drop. There we go. Send in the first 2 wall breakers and follow in straight with the king. Now the king's going to be pretty much a distraction as long as he goes into the actual base. Going to send all the barbarians in there with him now. And we're going to rage him up pretty soon. And then we're going to go ahead and send in the rest of the wall breakers now. Where the mortar's already hit the floor so quickly wall breakers in. And we're going to rage up the king. The king's going to be the distraction. And this base should pretty much get torn apart pretty quickly. We're into the center now. Their king's going to get taken down so fast and just send in the rest of the archers wherever you want really. I'm going to take the town hall because I want to get some uh, experience points just to level up. It only gives 9 or 10 experience points but that's okay. So we've already pretty much cleaned out most of the dark elixir guys. We've got over a thousand of it. In the last, I've been raiding for 2 hours this morning and I would say in the last 2 hours I've raised about 15,000 dark elixir. Which is really good for, for someone who's just really turned town hall 9. 15,000 dark elixir inside of 2 hours is extremely good. I mean, it only takes 30, 40k to level up a hero. So you do that once a day for two days and you can level up your hero, both heroes, once a week. It's that simple. So we're going to go ahead and end it there. I don't really care for the uh, the gold or the elixir at this point. I'm just trying to farm for the dark elixir. So there we go, guys. We've got 79k gold, 71k elixir, and the 1159 dark. So we covered ourselves for the troops and got a lot of dark elixir in the process. As I said previously, this is going to be one of the main series that I bring to the channel. When I say it's a series, I'm not going to be doing it every single day. Maybe once a week or something like that until I manage to max out my Town Hall 9. Later on today, I will be bringing out another video and it's going to be a second series. So I'm trying to incorporate two series into my channel right now. There will be a third, which will be uh, the Quest of Champions League. But that won't be for at least another month until I'm pretty much max Town Hall 9. The series I'm going to be bringing out later on today is going to be a brand new base. And it's going to be a brand new account. So not brand new base, sorry, brand new account. Comment below if you have anything you'd like to say about it, something maybe you want me to do with a new base. I have had a lot of uh, people asking me to create a new account. Baby Tony is like a nice fun name to use, but I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with it. As I said, I'll figure it out when I do the video and maybe just get inspiration on the spot. As ever, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. It helps me out a lot. Share and favorite the video if you can. Subscribe if you haven't already. I do Clash of Clans videos every single day. I hope you enjoyed them. I hope they're high quality. Have a lovely day, guys.